I, I am not an expert. I don't know what I'm doing. It seems like it'd be a good idea. Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Motorcycle Rewind. And today, it's more like Bill Nye the Science Guy. We've got a seized CB160 engine that has been, as you can tell, stored outdoors for years. Look, you can't even see in the spark plug hole. It's got so much stuff. And our task is what I want to try to do is can we, can we free it up? I'll pause for you guys to stop laughing. No, really, that's getting a little out of hand now. No, I really want to see. I want to try. Can we free this engine up? Will it function? No, it's going to be crap. It needs to be rebuilt. We know that. But it needs to be freed up to be rebuilt. I can't do anything with it right now. It's a boat anchor. It was a buddy of mine's and uh, same guy who gave me the, uh, the Twin Star. And when I picked up the Twin Star, he goes, hey, you want this? I said, yeah, I've been wanting to see if I could science some stuff so we might as well use an experiment it cost me zero dollars well it'll cost me the cost of this stuff what i'm going to use is the 30 percent vinegar that you buy at the uh home depot or because it's six times more powerful than standard vinegar and if regular vinegar eats rust this stuff's got to be really hungry so we'll see how it works my plan is to pressure wash that thing, to make sure there's no oil in it, to clean it with some Dawn dishwashing liquid on the inside, just to get off all the stuff because I want less stuff fighting against this. And then I'm gonna be super patient. I'm gonna let it go. I think I may pick up an aquarium pump to put in it because it's gonna go in this tote right here with at least a gallon of this vinegar in it. And I'm just wanna keep cycling it. Just let it just pump through it and see what happens. What's the worst thing happen? It can't get worse than that. It's a boat anchor now, right? It can't get any worse, so all I can do is get it better. Or at least learn something in the process. So let's see if we can break off some bolts to get this exhaust off and try to get the, uh, the oil drain plug off to make sure there's no oil in it. And then we'll pressure wash it, which will help us get rid of, look, there's just dirt and stuff in there. Uh, no, there's no need to bore scope this cylinder because we can see everything in it right there. So let's do that and then uh, let me get you set up and we'll get started. See if we can get this exhaust off. Well, let me see if we can break this exhaust off. Hey. How many guys thought that that was gonna break off? Yeah, naysayers. This thing, I'm gonna save these bolts, cause, these nuts, cause they're still good. Let's start with these. Taffy covers. That is probably, they're probably gonna. Spin. So, my old buddy Howard just said if you just tap them a little bit, that they tend to break the gunk holding them on. So, why would he lie to me? I'm gonna need to put this guy on the ground because it looks like something's gonna break a toe. Oh, jeez. Let's see how good this Harbor Freight ratchet is. Hey, it's pretty good. Lifetime warranty. Oh, it's just, it's just, just only broken on that part. There it is. Oh, we can put it back together. Fixed. Restored. Lost the receipts. We'll see if we can get that thing off. But now at least I can squirt juice in there, which is what I wanted to do. I was shocked that uh, only one I'm broke. Going to the filler cap. What are the odds that this thing snaps off? You got a little place bets. Oh, look at that. I'm telling you, this thing's going to rebuild itself. Let's uh, pull out the drain plug, see if we can need juice. Okay, let's see if we can get this drain plug off right here, just because we'll need to be looking in there. If you want to place bets on whether this will free up, you can go to uh, DraftKing.com, use promo code, no promo code, 
and uh, place your bets. Link in description. Okay. Whatever's in there feels like a little tar. That's why I want to wash this stuff out because if I just pour that vinegar in, it's fighting against this stuff, which is coated over everything. So I want to try to, to get it out. Okay, just putting some Dawn dishwashing liquid in here. Why? Oh, Dawn Ultra. Ultra, because it's 50% less scrubbing. 50% less scrubbing. I don't want to scrub that much. Plus, it'll eat away. If it's safe to use on the little birds when they get oil on it, why can't you use it on an old Honda engine? They... Yeah, and let's start pressure washing it. I should have said this in the beginning. I, I am not an expert. I don't know what I'm doing. It seems like it'd be a good idea. If you choose to pressure wash your engine, it's a choice you make. I'm thinking it may be a pretty good idea. It can't be worse than what it is. But I uh, don't recommend this to, to anybody. Consult a professional. Let's get back to it. I should have checked to see if it spun. I'm guessing it probably doesn't. Guys, if you hadn't realized it yet, I, I do am afflicted with uh, um, a pretty, pretty cup is half full life philosophy. But if you look in here, we couldn't see in there before. Now we can actually see in it. So that's light years better than what it was which doesn't mean it's going to work but right it's got to be a little bit better so I'm going to let all the water drain out and then we'll uh, set it in this we'll start filling it full of vinegar okay guys we have this uh, the engine in its tote where it's going to spend its days until it frees up and uh, just a caution this 30% vinegar is, uh, it's, it's a little tough on the skin, so be careful with it. And, um, you know, use some common sense. Put some gloves on. Don't do what I'm doing. I'm not going to get it on my, on my hands. I know that. Until you got to pop this thing open. Oh, the other thing, full disclosure, is I have other this is the same stuff it's reusable so there's no use tossing it once you use it and it's been in this five gallon bucket waiting for just this moment so let's go ahead and start by pouring this guy in here before i get to the other bit because we're soaking the entire thing we're going to come up, find out how much this total actually hold yeah wear safety goggles some gloves i'm going to fill the inside of the engine and we'll see what happens. I don't know what this vinegar is going to do to, to everything else in it, right? I don't know what it's going to do. We'll find out. But if there's rust anywhere, I'm guessing it should eat it up. See, this is a good thing I have this hole right here because it lets me pour it right in. Okay, guys, so I have the CB160 fountain set up. Got a little, I used one of these guys, fountain pump from um, Home Depot and some tubing, a little T right there, got a split, got one end shooting into that cylinder, the other one shooting into the other one. It's like a babbling brook. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna continue this on Instagram. So follow us on Instagram at Motorcycle Rewind. So we're gonna continue this experiment on Instagram and we'll go from there. So every day 
I will post an update on this until it's free or until we get a bigger hammer. So guys, as always, thanks for watching yet another episode of Motorcycle Rewind. And do me a favor, like, tag, share, and follow us on Instagram at Motorcycle Rewind so you can keep up to date on this. Hit the subscribe button down below. And while you're hitting the subscribe button here, wander on over to our friends, Brickhouse Builds, Moto Mango, Gold Guy, Ace Cafe Bikes, and Plan B Motos. And give them a subscribe too. They've got great motorcycle content, so check it out. Thanks again, guys, and have a great day. GoPro, stop recording. So guys, there you have it. Yet another episode of Motorcycle Rewind. Do me a favor and like, tag, share, and follow us on Instagram. And go ahead and hit the subscribe button down below. Thanks again, guys, and have a great day.